What was the surgery? I want details. It was a trauma. It went well. Your oxygen saturation's gone up. That's encouraging. I did love you. Even though I tried so hard not to love you because I also loved Owen. I think I thought that I could love you both, but instead I just... I tore it all to the ground and took you both with me. <laughs> wow. I asked you for one thing, Altman. You asked me for the truth. No, no, I didn't ask you for that because the truth is relative. You got yourself convinced that you loved us both, but empirical evidence would suggest otherwise. Empirical? I, I... He doesn't want you. You're right, you dragged us both to the ground, but he doesn't want anything to do with you, and I'm still here sitting in the dust. If you loved me, Teddy, we'd be together instead of together in our misery. Empirical evidence. I asked you to admit you never loved me because I need it. If I survive this thing, I want to get up off the ground where you dropped me, so. I need it. I never loved you, Tom. You want to sit, or...? Oh, the second I stop, Scout starts wailing like a human ambulance. As you were. And Scout needs me to keep moving. Zola, Bailey, Ellis, they need us to keep on moving. Playing songs and eating. They eat so much. So I just keep going to the grocery store and buying food that Amelia keeps pretending she knows how to cook. And what if Meredith doesn't survive this? You know, it's gonna do to my life. Uh, yeah, you just said that out loud. Don't worry about it. We're all scared. No one's judging you. I'm a little bit judging, but that's because I've only known you seven minutes. <laughs> I'm on my knees every night praying that she survives this. And I'm not an on my knees praying kind of guy. I get it. I'm not praying for myself. You're human. Lane, give yourself a break, all right? You're exhausted. Meredith is she's family to me. I mean, Meredith is family. I can think of a million reasons I don't want her to die. Some of them are about her, some are about me, some are about the world at large. The point is you're allowed to have your reasons. You know, they don't all have to be selfless. I just... I mean, those kids already lost their dad. I don't want them to have to grow up without a mom, too. And all we can do is just... Keep moving. Yeah. I mean, literally, keep moving, because human ambulance. <laughs> you know, you're pretty good at this. The whole keep somebody calm, you've only known seven minutes thing. Well, to be fair, it's been more like eight minutes now. Sure. And Jackson, thank you for getting Maggie over here. I, I, I'm sorry if that was awkward. You were the only no, one picking up. it's fine. Why would it be awkward? I'm just... Yeah. Okay, you're, uh, you're ex, mm. aren't you? Another round? Yeah. <laughs> 